What does America mean to you in one word? Pride. Beautiful. Freedom. Hard work. Immeasurable. Opportunity. Freedom. Those were the answers from a multitude of Americans across our state. From this collection of differing voices comes a diverse population of stories, opinions, backgrounds, tragedies, and achievements. Not one voice is the same, just like no American is the same. As we explore everyone's unique answer to what does your country mean to you in one word, we take a look at our own opinions. Just four 16 and 17 year olds with a lot more power behind their voices than you would expect. Hi, I'm Amy Crumley. I am 16 years old and I am a homeschooled junior from Pineapolis, South Carolina. My passion is music. I am hardworking and dedicated. I love to hang out with family and friends, swim, and play the piano. So Amy, what does your country mean to you? My America is freedom. That sounds like a generic answer, but that is truly my story. I have a Christian heritage that was persecuted for their faith. They had no freedom, but I do. America offers the right to a freedom of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I can do anything I dream freely. I can worship the way I choose to without government interference. I can achieve my dream of being a wife, mother, and giving others the gift of music. My America lets everybody achieve their dream. That's my country. Hey, my name is Maggie Nolan. I'm a 17-year-old student body president, soccer player, children's ministry volunteer, and a music buff from Piedmont, South Carolina. But I know you're more focused on the answer to our infamous question, what does our country mean to you in one word? Well, my country is ambition. I know that sentence isn't all that grammatically correct, but in my mind, it's the only word that fits perfectly at the end of that sentence. This year in 2021, my cousin Oscar turned his dreams into a reality. My country is a country where a little one-year-old Guatemalan orphan can work hard enough to become a neuroscience major with a full ride to Duke. My country is a country where if you roll up your sleeves high enough and put everything you have into your dream, you can achieve it. My country is full of people that are strong, so my country is built to last. The American dream is there for the taking if you want to work hard enough for it. So, if you have the ambition, my country is your country too. Hi, I'm Josh Sharp. I'm 17 years old from Sumter, South Carolina. I'm big on sports and politics, and I'm my school student body president. I'm also active in my church. Opportunity. Doctor, lawyer, engineer, teacher, father, business owner, pro athlete, mother, coach. Opportunities are endless in America, but opportunities have no value unless you put forth effort, time, hard work, be dedicated to it. I have many friends who have come to America for opportunities. One thing we need to know about opportunities, they aren't given out freely. Just because you live in America or you're American does not mean you should get some great opportunity. You should be given one because of the one that you received in the past and the way you put your work ethic into that. Your work ethic shows when you're given an opportunity. If you want more opportunities, work hard for the one you're at. Hey, my name is Carson. I'm 16 and I play softball. One word to describe America to me is independence. Independence is something that shouldn't be taken for granted. Americans have fought bravely and many have lost their lives to make this country what it is today. Independence gives us freedom and liberty. It includes the opportunity for prosperity and success. It is so important to have because it leads to enhanced expressions of creativity and original thought, increased productivity, and overall high quality of life. Independence is what makes America an amazing country to live in. On our own, we had the privilege to interview Dr. Tolita Silva, a Brazilian immigrant who achieved her own American dream by graduating at the top of her class at the University of North Carolina Law School. She came to America to marry her husband in 2013, but she gained so much more after arriving. She now works for the Federal Court of Appeals in Richmond, Virginia. So Tolita... How did America become your home? 
the feeling of you know like oh America is now my home has grown since then. It was not something that was automatic. It you kind of developed this love for the country. Achieving Mrs. Silva's American dream was not easy. She had to jump through a lot of hoops and underwent many trials. What would you say was the most challenging aspect of your American dream? The most challenging one was probably trying to get assimilated to another culture, learning another language. However, she found refuge in the people surrounding her. She found a community in America and her answer to our famous question was not one we were expecting. I would have to say America to me is home. The Electric Cooperatives of South Carolina allowed us to meet with our national leaders. This is what they had to say about our home. We interviewed Congressman Clyburn, South Carolina's sixth congressional district representative since 1993. He had some words of wisdom for us in terms of uniting our country. Your experiences are totally different from everybody else. And we have to learn how, or we should, learn how to respect those differences and listen to them and not get upset with people uh, when they share diff different opinions. Eight-year Senator Tim Scott also spoke on unity. We are built on a dream, a vision that uh, all men could be created equally and given certain inalienable rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Senator Lindsey Graham was elected senator in 2002, but continues to serve our state today. Senator Graham, what do you believe the American dream to be? For an individual, the American dream is that I can be my, my goals in life, that my ambitions are within my reach if I work hard enough. Even though we all come from different backgrounds, have different stories, and are made of different values and beliefs, America is our home, and we can unite in that. Congressman Clyburn, what is the American dream to you? United. One. This is my country, land of my choice. This is my country, hear my proud voice. I pledge thee my allegiance, America the bold. For this is my country, to have and to hold. Special thanks to the Electric Cooperatives of South Carolina for hosting the whole experience. Thanks to our home cooperatives for choosing us to represent them. Many thanks to Miss Julie Firetag for her support and suggestions. Thanks to all of our guest speakers and interviewees for all of your time and words, as well as Matt Brown, Michelle Sharp, and Bella Colley for their musical contributions. Hope you enjoyed our podcast. Keep going and achieve your American dream.